Happy Friday. Thank you for joining me for the Oracle card reading today. The diffuser bomb this morning was High Ghee, which is a blend, a tire blend, um, and it's the oil of sanctuary. And the other oil that I put with it, which it smells great on its own, let's be real. Um, I put clementine, um, which is spontaneity and ease. Um, it smells so nice. So, so nice. Heige is kind of, oh, it's a really soft, low key blend and adding in the, um, the citrus just kind of ramps it up even more. Mm, it smells so good. All right. So as we finish off for most of us, the work week, um, let's call in angels, spirit guides of the highest truth and compassion. And let's see what the message is for this Friday. So first is work your light. I had a bit later of a night. We had a work dinner to go to with one of the associations, which was really nice because it was in person. And this is really going, which is fine. We're going to let it burn. It's very cleansing. Um, yeah, so it was a great night. Saw a gorgeous sunset on the way home. Oh, that's a good one. Transformation. Anyway, it's by the time we got home and you know, connected in with the kids. It was a late night. So transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. I love this. I love it going into the weekend. Yay. All right. So now I'm going to, this one started to turn as I did the deck. So I'm just going to take this one and it's the cosmic heart. Devotion, potency, making your life, make your life a moving prayer. <sighs> Great messages. And then the other one I pulled is just the um, regular Moonology deck. It's still burning. It's funny. It, it'll go out sometimes, but it's still very much going. It was going straight up and down. I know there's a meaning to how it burns, but I I need to look into that. I need to learn that. So we'll just let it keep going because if anything, it's cleansing my space, which I do all the time. So all good. We've got two that came up. Ooh, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon of Leo. And it's time to take action. Very nice. Okay, let's do transformation. That's a good one. Transformation. There we go. Oops, that was going to be nice. This this one's a great deck, but the the book's not in order alphabetically. So, um, things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. You are not who you were a year ago or who you will soon be. You are in between, emerging, half risen, half falling. Keep doing the work. You are transforming. You will look back at this time with awe. So much is happening in your inner world and within your cells. It's time to release old ways of being that have kept you in fight, flight, and freeze mode. To choose a new way of being where trauma is not the driving force. I don't know about you, but that resonates very much with me, which is why this is still burning very prominently. Um, it's easy to sink into our traumas and the shit that has happened to us. Forward thinking. I'm not saying to forget everything from your past. It's a, Think of everything as a stepping stone. Trust me, I've gone through shit. 100%. Life-changing shit. 
trust me. Um, shit that I did not think I could get through, and here I am. And literally, as this says, I am not the same person I was a year ago. I am not the same person I was two years ago. Not the same person I was 10 years ago. Not the same person I was 20 years ago. Right? Always evolving. So, old childhood patterns are rising up to be healed. As you allow yourself to ob observe them and feel them without attachment, they loosen their grip and fall away. You are being called to find new ways of, to self-soothe. Saturn and the Black Madonna and the African goddess Osh Oshun influence this card. Saturn represents dis destruction and transformation. The Black Madonna represents the underground and all that has been cast aside. And Osh Hun represents the tender love of the original mother. A re-threading is happening, healing at the deepest of levels. While you are in this phase, don't put yourself under pressure to perform. You may need to review re your relationship with your body, perhaps even shifting your diet or exercise regime or getting energetic healing support. You may also need to consider some kind of emotional support as issues from your childhood may come up to be healed. Remember you are deeply loved. Um, so put your hand on your heart. I allow myself to receive the deepest healing and transformation for change to happen at a cellular level. Beautiful. And the Starseed Oracle, the Cosmic Heart. The Cosmic Heart, where is 48? Oops. Yes, I'm realizing my body needs sleep. So if you are into human design or you know anything about human design, I am a projector and we need rest. Big time. Our souls need rest. So late night last night and yes tonight's going to be a very quiet night and just this this all of this aligns so the cosmic heart devotion potency make your life a moving prayer when you surrender to a state of devotion you find yourself flowing with all of life you're being called to refocus your attention deep within to the intelligence of your own heart to bow with deep revenge I can't pronounce things today, to your inner temple, to live your life in devotion to this place, to make your life one big moving prayer. Perhaps you've felt a little off kilter lately, sensing that the potency of why you're doing things has gotten a little watered down or weak. Perhaps you've forgotten what made you start doing them in the first place. If so, this card, this is your call to take a moment and reconnect with the truth at the very center of your heart. So a good journal prompt, how can you make your life a moving prayer? Literally, what lights you up? What calms you down? What lights up your passion? What soothes you? Think of that. And then I'm not going to go into these too deep, actually. Don't let your pride get in the way. So this is really permission to soften your ego. Soften it. Don't get in your way literally get into a flow that's what it, that's what I keep hearing and it, I, I'm not surprised because water is huge for me so to get yourself into the flow of life and the flow of the way things happen it's just going to be so much better so put your ego aside you know if you're outside you're going for a walk or even if you're sitting and reading a book your ego is going to jump in and be like you need to do this you didn't do this you didn't do that the floor is dirty the laundry's not done. Continue silencing. Continue silencing. Because honestly, to take that time for yourself, your time is going to quadruple in very big ways. Very big ways. It's time to take action for yourself. 100% for yourself. Take action on what, again, what do you feel? What is your passion? What is your desire? What what soothes you, what comforts you. Take action on all of that. Enjoy the sunshine today. It is a gorgeous day. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the afternoon and then a quiet evening probably, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Have a great day.